Thicker stuff is taking a little bit to get off. I'm gonna try to use some of the greaser. And see they say don't put this on painted metal, but uh, I don't care. I'm an asshole. And also, I'm not looking to keep this particular cover for too long. So, and if you do put it on, they say try to not keep it on there for too long. you can tell on this camera but here's the grime and here's metal like that's smooth that's still grime like I can do that this thing works amazing I can't recommend that any more than what it's doing for itself um, if you're worried like oh you're using you're doing it too close you're gonna take the paint off obviously I'm not because I'm using the car nozzle which is meant for paint so all this is doing is just literally being able to take off the grime. It's not actually doing anything to the metal. If you do see metal damage, that's because that's from uh, filth, dirt, and uh, uh, things hidden. It. It's not from this nozzle. So if you're wondering, hey, how come you're pressure washing the bottom of the car? Well, as you saw, this thing was filthy, right? And the reason this thing was filthy is because the valve covers on that thing were leaking and it got in the back of the engine and the sides of the engine it's on, it was on the transmission it was on the steering rack and so I'm sitting here I'm like how do I know that's not fresh how do I know there's no fresh leaks if all this grime is on there so I've been pressure washing it here and there for the last few days trying to get all the grime I can see that is clearly old so that way, if there is a new leak, like the rear main seal or the oil pan or something like that, which is should be expected, it's a 1997, pretty sure those things have never been touched on this car, and this thing has over 200,000 miles, actually almost 203,000 miles. So, 
I'm expecting a leak, but I wouldn't be able to tell if there was one if I keep leaving the grime on there. So I finally picked up a pressure washer and then I started blasting it and it's been doing wonderful. I mean, those bolts right there, if you can see them, those right there, the alignment bolts, um, those were as black as the subframe. Uh, so that kind of, is it a subframe? Is it just a frame? Because it's a body on frame, I don't know, whatever as black as the structure that it's connected to uh that's paint and that was just as black and it's not supposed to have that so yeah that's how good it's been doing uh we'll see if there are any leaks but that's why i haven't put on the cover yet because i just wanted to make sure there was uh everything was clean before i put it on there but everything as much as i can get to everything seems to be now good and clean so now I can look for possibly new leaks yep. this thing only stores 10 data logs at a time so every time I gotta take them all off oh Jesus it doesn't store that much huh I mean I guess 10 is not bad considering he only needs three so even if we do two at a time we still have some room so yeah. Do it, we'll turn around and do it on that same straight that we just did it on.
Finally, this got some kind of organization. It was just, as you saw, a pile of stuff there. Now we got a little bit of wooden storage slash table that can help organize some of this. So super excited about that, but that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.